Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Make sure I'm on the right spot there. Good morning to you. Welcome to another brand new installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. I am your humble host, Tom Rigsby, the unashamed nonconformist. Thank you so much for joining me. When you get here, do what Joe's already done. Leave a thumbs up. Give me a comment. Say hello. Let me know what you're watching. Doesn't matter if you're watching live or on the replay. In fact, the replay, I, I won't say is better. Because you guys that are here live, you're pretty awesome. But the replays, love hearing from you guys. Love hearing from you. So go ahead and grab a cup of coffee. We'll get started. If you happen to be, I'm going to get a sip here. If you happen to be listening on your favorite podcast catcher, which I know a large number of you do every day, thank you so much for doing that. Be sure and head over to 7 com so you can join the conversation. Today, I, I titled today's show, you know, it is Friday. And Friday is uh, Free Coaching Friday. And uh, maybe maybe I'll, uh, I'll have to work on this for next week. This might be an interesting uh, thing. But anyway, I titled today's show, um, Stump the Coach. You got a question, you got a comment, you got a theme you would you think you can stump me on, ask me a question about, leave me with nothing to say, by all means, take a shot. Put uh, put a comment out there. Let me know what your topic is. This week, we've kind of been talking about, um, you know, I was thinking about that this morning, kind of what has the theme been this week. More than anything, I think it's been uh, self-determination. Um, that that, you know, it, it really, you know, we started the week off, you know, if not you, then who? If not now, then when? And then yesterday was a little bit about, you know, if you want to make something, if, if you want to be compensated better, do better, right? All of this kind of goes back to this idea that you are the one that's in control, and which goes to the theme I've been working on all year. I, I'll keep looking up here because I've got a sign up here on the on the wall. Stop letting life happen to you and create the life you crave. If you don't have the life you want, whose fault is that? Yours. Who's got two thumbs and has the life that they created? All of us. Assuming you have two thumbs. The point is that you have the ability to create the outcome that you want. You don't. Look, think about it this way. If you believe, I mean, if you really and truly believe that your present circumstances are someone else's fault, then you necessarily have to believe that it's also up to someone else to improve your circumstances. Do you want to do that? Do you want to put the results of your life in someone else's hands? I read these comments every day. Um, in, In places that I really don't, don't expect to see them sometimes all these news articles these stories and and they're oh you know the man is terrible oh they're not treating their employees well oh you know woe is me because i can't find a job oh woe is me because you know price of housing is too high fix it look i had good morning abby thank you for being here I am when I've told you guys this story many times. Um, at one point I had two businesses go under at the same time. I was running two in parallel and both of them failed at the same time. One of them, of course, both of them were contentious. One of them was super contentious, took us years to resolve. If, if I can accept responsibility for the failure of that business and the failure of that partnership, there's nothing. Nothing that's going to hold you back. I look at it. What I was able to do is say, you know what? I made a bad choice in choosing him as a business partner. I made that choice. And now that I've accepted responsibility for making a bad choice, I can, you know, forgive myself for that and move on. Because what I realize, I'm sitting here stewing mad about it every day. It's not ruining his day. It's ruining my day. Well, screw that noise, right? So 
that's where I kind of got stuck on, all right, well, how do I get past that? And that's kind of how I came up with that plan. And that's what has led me to this, this view that, you know, if I want something, man, it's up to me. If, and, and if I, if I say that someone else is holding me back, I'm saying that they're more powerful than I am. And I just, I believe in existence proof. You know, I, I, I think I mentioned this earlier in the week, last weekend had a long, detailed and thorough discussion of Jeff Bezos and how Amazon got started. If he can do it, why can't I do it? Now, you know, he, he put a lot of work in. He put more work into it than I'm willing to put into it. So I can't be critical that I haven't gotten the same results. I haven't put the same level of effort in. But that's not where my priority is. I'm not saying it's good or bad. I'm just saying those are the facts. So if you want, here's the whole point. It's what we've been talking about all week. Since nobody's taken the challenge to stump me today, then I was going to wrap up with this. If you want, if there's something out of your life, your business, your job that you want, then you have to create it. Right? If you want the next higher job, do the job you want, not the job you have. Do the work. And, and if you can, you know, if there's somebody, somebody there temporarily in your way, think about what makes their job easier and do it for them. If you want to get them out of the way, don't figure out how to get them fired. Figure out how to get them promoted. If you have your own business and you want to double the number of customers that you, that you have, figure out how to give double the value. Figure out how to double your marketing. Figure out, figure out the pieces that create the result. Don't just sit there and look at the result and think, oh, man. I mean, it's like going to go back to my steak and hamburger analogy from earlier in the week, right? Don't sit there and think, man, I wish I was really satisfied with a, a very fulfilling dinner right now and then not eat. I mean, that sounds silly when you say it that way, right? Don't, don't sit back and say, man, I wish I had a really fulfilling life. And then don't do the work necessary to get there. You don't eat the steak in one bite. You cut it up into little pieces. You mix it in with some of the vegetables. Wash it down with a little bit of drink. Oh, status. Oh, man. Yeah. So there's lots of little pieces to that steak dinner that lead you to being fulfilled. So you can't just sit back and say, I want it all, I want it now, I want it in one bite. doesn't work that way. Figure out the pieces that get you there. That actually is step number two. Oops, sorry. Step number two in the Fast Five program. How are you going to know? How will you know if you made it? How will you know if you're winning? That's one of the best questions I ever asked a, heard a CEO ask. So now I ask my coaching clients that all the time. If this is the outcome you want, all right, good. We're good and clear on that. How are you going to know if you're winning? Ask those questions of yourself. Come up with that list. There's a little weekend homework for you while you're cutting the grass, cleaning the house, whatever it is you do on the weekend, laying in the swimming pool. Might be what I do. Uh, yeah, think about that. How are you winning? What's the outcome you want? And how are you going to know if you're winning? What are the milestones? that will give you an indication that you're winning. All right, Joe, I'm going to make a note of that. We'll hit status next week. We might spend the whole week on status next week. So we'll go somewhere with that. You guys have a fantastic weekend. My pleasure to be here with you each and every, well, <coughs> almost only four days this week. Be here with you every morning, seven o'clock for seven minutes in the morning. You guys have a great weekend. Talk to you on Monday.